right, Ashton right now in the weather, and it is just chilly. It is chilly. It's not even quite winter yet. Officially, that's two, day, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, uh, the winter solstice on the 21st, but it feels every bit like winter time today. In some areas, we've still got a lot of wind, and that's causing wind chills to drop into the single digits and teens in some cases. Right now, downtown, we have 29 degrees. We have less cloud cover now than we've had at any point uh, so far today. We're seeing just a little bit of clearing in some areas. Overall, though, there'll still be more clouds and sun through the rest of the day. We're pretty much done with the snow falling at this point, but as we look along I-25, this is north of Wellington, not far from uh, the Colorado-Wyoming state line. If you look closely, you'll still see a few snowflakes flying around there in far northern Colorado. Temperatures 19 degrees up in Wellington. Snowfall, well, we've had a couple of inches in some areas. Pinewood Springs, two and a half inches. Nederland has two inches. Estes Park, an inch and a half. Fort Collins, an inch on the grass. Boulder, a half an inch. All of this falling early this morning in Fort Collins is 22 degrees, and you can see the snow there uh, on the ground near the CSU campus. Here's the radar. The, what's left of that snow now up in western Nebraska along Interstate 80 to the east of Burns, going through places like Kimball over toward Ogallala. There's definitely some snow. We've got some snow falling on the western slope as well. Any kind of accumulation in the mountains today with snow is not going to be much. An inch or two, including along the I-70 mountain corridor, that's going to be it. Last night we had a cold front come in from the northeast, and that front is now stuck right along the urban corridor. That's why temperatures are a few degrees above where we are here in Denver as you get up into the mountains. I don't want to say few degrees warmer because it's by no means warm, but Aspen right now is 32, whereas DIA is 28 degrees. And that's going to be the trend here through the rest of the day with many mountain towns staying a degree or two warmer than we are here in the Denver metro area. You can see all the clouds all across the state as well. I mentioned that cold front and there it is again, came in last night and it's been stuck uh, right to the west of Denver ever since. It's not going to move any more than where it is right now. So the mountains never really get the front. Mountains will get snow though from this next storm coming in. It's currently bringing a lot of rain to Southern California, rain today for Phoenix and uh, snow for the northern mountains of New Mexico. Since this storm is taking a southerly track, it's going to bring most of its snow to the southern mountains of Colorado, including Durango, Telluride, and eventually over toward the San Greta Cristos. Now, mountain areas north of Highway 50 will get some snow today, tonight, and tomorrow, but the heaviest snow will be south of Highway 50 and into the San Juan Mountains, places like Lake City, over toward Telluride and Silverton and Durango, even uh, Purgatory, looking at about four to eight inches of snow there along the Highway 550 and Highway 160 corridors in southwest Colorado. So 32 degrees for our high today. We're pretty much done with the flurry activity now, Alan. Tomorrow, 38, still Lots of clouds and then for the weekend, mostly sunny and finally warming up 40s Saturday and Sunday and then next week 50s to at least start the week. So next week doesn't look nearly as cold as this week's been. I'll take that. Yeah. All right.